What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're going to take a look at all of my oversized hardcovers and trade paperbacks. On this channel, I always focus on the omnibus and the absolutes. And Fee gave me the idea that, hey, you have a lot of OHCs and TPBs, so why don't you take a look at those, man? So that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. All right, first of all, I have the trays and all those books kind of scattered all over the room here. I have a couple here on this wall, so we'll take a look real quick. Um, over here, you can see we have die trade paperback kind of sitting by itself over there. Haven't read that yet. Here we have the two Bedlam trade paperbacks, volume one and two, that Manuel did a review on. Fee read them too. And then we have Ninjak, um, the three volumes that collect the current run that's being collected in a deluxe edition. Manimal and I did read those and do a review, but at the time of me filming this, we still haven't released the review yet. Over here, I have my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers trade paper bags. I stopped collecting them because they were all being printed in these year one deluxe editions. So I don't know what I'm really going to do with these. I always kind of figured I'd give them away or something. But uh, I still have them. Over here, I have the first volume of the John Constantine Hellblazer, Original Sins. I did read this on the plane to San Diego Comic-Con. And I have volume two on the way. There are currently 21 volumes of those. And they are, there should be about 25 altogether to collect that whole run. They do have an omnibus coming out which collects the Garth Ennis material. I think the way I'm going to review these is once the um, creative teams change up. So who is this? Delano, Ridgeway, Al, whoever, and Veach. Once the creative team switches, I'll probably do a review on the volumes that collect those. Alright, so that's everything on this wall as far as... So actually, I guess, you know, if we're, we're talking about oversized hardcovers, I still have this um, new volume of Exo Man of War from Valiant. Haven't read that yet. The Imperium Deluxe Edition. We did read and do a review on that. Uh, of course, I have the two Berserk volumes, with, which we did uh, individual reviews. Me and Fee love those books. And I, I guess I just kind of mentioned the easier ones, but didn't really go over them. And I think they became whales. I'm not sure if both of them did. But um, sought after books. I like how they're collected. Definitely going to keep those. We have the Chew 1 through 6. And I always was kind of upset because I bought these deluxe editions not realizing that they have uh, absolute style editions for these Chew books. These are called the Omnivore editions from Image Comics. I never got into them. I still haven't read those. Uh, the G.I. Joe Deluxe editions, I just found the other day that they have, I think, the older comics collected in deluxe edition as well. So I got to get those volumes, man. Manimal and I uh, plan to start reading these once we finish the Transformers, which we did finish uh, volume or phase one of Transformers. And we're just waiting on the last volumes for, for phase two to get into that. We'll also have Transformers versus G.I. Joe, but I got to be honest, the artwork doesn't really look too good in these books. All right, those are more like absolutes and omnibus. So speaking of Transformers, here's phase one and phase two with every book that's been collected so far. We did already do a review on phase one. Let's just thumb through what they look like real quick. So they all have like similar covers, and like similar style. I didn't really love Phase 1 as much as I thought I was. I mean, I was a huge Transformers fan growing up, so I don't know. I didn't love it. Here's the Phase 1 books. Got Optimus, Bumblebee. I can't tell. Volume, oh yeah, Volume 9 is the most recent one, which has the female Transformer. We know Megatron. I 
I started selling some of these deluxe editions after I read them. Like I sold Criminal. Here's Velvet, which is one of the few books I still have in cellophane. Next to the old school Valiant Omnibus, we have oversized hardcovers that collect the 90s material as well. There's a Bloodshot Omnibus coming out, so I bet you it double dips with this. But these, um, are they standard size? Yeah, I think they're standard size hardcovers for the old school Valiant stuff. You got Harbinger, Hardcore, Old School Ninja. These are still sealed. Joe Casada, so that must be early stuff. Rye. All the 90s Valiant stuff on this show. Shadow Man. Of course, we have the TMNT by IDW. Those we've done reviews on each individual volumes. So let's see. The Open Rock Study was on the most recent one. This is a little hardcover. Usagi Ojimbo team up. Mikey, Shredder, April O'Neil, Donnie, Leo, Splinter, and Raph. I know people are freaking out right now because at the time of this video, Volume 4 is out of print, but they're pretty good at reprinting these. Volume 1 used to be out of print, and it started selling for a lot of money, but recently uh, it's been reprinted. So, these TMNT books these collect the original mirage run by uh kevin eastman and peter lard and uh, the color classics are the same exact issues just in color so these it's a pretty big double dip but um i guess let's look at an example right so here's the ultimate um collection volume one and you can see that's how it starts right with the four of them in the sewer and if I bust out the works, which is the color classes that look like pizza boxes. You see how it's the same ink, uh, same, you know, inks and everything just got color on them. We got Tokyo Ghost, the complete collection. A lot of people recommend me to read this. I just haven't jumped on it yet. And then the Terminator. Uh, I did read this and do a review along with the Aliens and Predator. Uh, I really like how these books look, though. Uh, I guess a little honorable mention. Uh, yeah, Yusagi Ojimbo Fantagraphics and the uh, Yusagi Ojimbo Saga by Dark Horse. Everyone always likes this volume one. It's like a whale. They're all signed and numbered by Stan Sakai. This is number 491 out of 900. And the most recent volume, volume 8, they did the same thing. This one is 874 out of 1500. So pretty cool that these are all individually numbered and signed. Alright, let's uh, go to another wall here. All right, so what are we looking at? Oversized hardcovers and trades. I don't want to get thrown off here. So, you know, a lot of this stuff we've shown before, like the Hellboy Library Editions, the BPRD uh, Deluxe Editions. Got a Hellboy Weird Tales hardcover there. The Ape Sapien Deluxe Editions. We have the two uh, Aliens and Predators Dark Horse books, the Fire and Stone uh, Complete Collection and the Life and Death Complete. Fear Agent by Rick Remender, Deadly Class, Black Hammer, The Goon. This is like my Dark Horse stuff. And here goes those Alien Predator books I was talking about that we did the review on. Saga Deluxe Editions we did the review. East of West I still haven't cracked yet. And here's those other image ones from like Brubaker, like The Fade Out, Fatal. Then you have the Jeff Lemire Descender. The three nail biter books, the three outcast books, paper girls, the two claws books, young blooded tank girl, Rick Remender's low, and invincible. That I wish I had them all in OHCs. I have these three library editions, but recently did a review on those. 
The Baby Teeth by Donny Cates. We did a review. Uh, Black Science I haven't read. And then we have... I like these, man. Every Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Archie Comics, trade paperback. I have all the volumes. I read like the first four volumes. This is very nostalgic. Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe. I think these are um, now being collected in the IDW books, so I don't really plan on picking them up anymore. All right, now that we have those out of the way, the real inspiration for me to do these vid this video was all these trade paperbacks here that I never really get to show. Sometimes I show them to you guys, but mainly it's just the omnibus and those bigger volumes. So I guess let's start with the oversized hardcovers. So this was actually a new release, X-Men Eve of Destruction. I showed it during the haul video. This is an old school one, Fall of the Mutants, which I'm pretty sure they're going to end up making that into an omnibus. Uh, X-Men Extinction Agenda and X-Men Bishop's Crossing. You have X-Men Fatal Attractions, which if you'll remember, had those hologram cards on all the covers back in the day. X-Men, The Wedding of Cyclops and Phoenix. And you have Executioner's Song, Phallic's Covenant, Operation Zero Tolerance, and Legion Quest, which is what leads into Age of Apocalypse. I used to have the three books that collect X-Men Inferno, but after I read them, I decided I probably will never read these again. It could even be um, repackaged as an omnibus, so I sold them. Then we have my Spider-Man OHCs. So I really only collect like X-Men, Spider-Man, and event oversized hardcovers. And then the random book here or there. Uh, Spider-Island is kind of nostalgic for me because that's what I picked up in single issues when I got back into comics. I had, I had every companion, every tie-in, every variant for that uh, when I used to collect those singles. Then we have... Superior Spider-Man, which I have out of order, but this one is like the direct market variant, which was the original cover for Amazing Fantasy 15 that Steve Ditko did. But Stanley didn't really feel like it was, you know, what it, what it needed to be, so he had Jack Kirby redo it. I had these books out recently because I wanted to custom bind these into an omnibus because they're, the, you know, the OACs are the same height as Omnis. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man um, after he comes back from Superior Spider-Man. And I have these still sealed because I've read all these issues. I used to have them all in singles. Uh, then you have the Spider-Verse oversized hardcover. And then Amazing Spider-Man gets renumbered into Spider-Man Worldwide. And that's where I stopped reading Spider-Man. And then it goes into the Clone Conspiracy. Yeah, Spider-Man and Deadpool by Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis. And then I have the three, for whatever reason, Spider-Gwen books. I think it's because, like, Edge of the Spider-Verse, I had all those issues and singles. I had Spider-Gwen's first appearance, and I don't know, I just picked it up for uh, for the collection, I guess. These could be um, bound into a custom Omni, too. I think she's now Ghost Spider or something. I'm not even following that. Then we have some Marvel events like Siege... Avengers vs. X-Men is something that I used to also have every single issue and tie-in and like a lot of the variants. That was also when I was early into getting into comics. I used to have this whole run. I read Age of Ultron. It wasn't that good. Original Sin is kind of when I stopped reading events, so I still haven't read these. I have the, the main story and the companion here. Then we have the Axis book which I, ha I have read this story before civil war 2 i actually have not read civil war 2 i did read secret wars and i had a lot of the tie-ins too here's a companion when i had like all that battle world stuff but i need to reread that secret wars that's jonathan hickman stuff you know it was a uh, people were a little bit disappointed in it secret empire that's that whole cap doing hail hydra Aven Inhumans vs. X-Men. I don't know why I bought this. Same with Inhumanity. I don't know why I bought this. 
Moon Knight by Bendis, which I've read recently and did a review. Doctor Strange, The Oath. I did a review on this, but as of this video, I still haven't released it. I did release this one, The Doctor Strange by Donny Cates. Star Wars Canon. Still haven't read. I bought it because it was solicited as an omnibus, but it wasn't. Just like this Loeb Sale Yellow Blue Gray book, which I still plan on reading, but it was solicited as an omnibus and it wasn't. Got the NYX uh, oversized hardcover. I think this is like a out of print book. Let's see what I have here now. I have some uh, modern X-Men trades. I was gonna try to get into it, like X-Men Gold, X-Men Blue, and then this Jean Grey trade. I have the four Deathstroke the Terminator trade paperbacks. Uh, there's two copies of volume three because uh, there was like a misprint in one and DC sent us the corrected one through in stock trades for free just with our next order. So I just kept the uh, original one obviously. For, I don't even remember I had this one. This is another reason why I wanted to make this video. Stuff I don't remember that I have. Deadpool 2099. Classic Carnage is a great book, man. But I think a lot of this stuff got printed in the Spider-Man vs. Venom book because it's like... Uh, what is in here? Carnage Unleashed. Okay, Mind Bomb's in there. The first Carnage book, obviously, 361 through 363. That's pretty much it. Superman Blue, more 90s nostalgia that I, I read it and did a review on it. Same with the two uh, 2099 books. Here's X-Men 2099, Doom 2099. This is the Warren Ellis stuff. Then this is the Spider-Girl Complete Collection. I just did a video talking about Volume 2's coming out. Then we got a lot of Venom stuff. This is Venom. Uh, volume 1 through 4 of the current run that led into the Donny Cates run. This is where Eddie Brock returned. Oh, crap. These things are floppy. I have read all these Venom trades, but I don't think I ever did a review on them. I did a review on some Venom trades. This um, is the Venom Complete Collection by Colin Bunn which is really just the end of Rick Remender's Flash run, right? Because this collects, what do we got here? That's Minimum Carnage, Venom 23 through 42 and 27.1. I gotta organize these better. I gotta find where my Remender Complete Collection is. Venom Space Knight, this was, this took place after the Remender run, after Agent Venom. He became Venom Space Knight, so that's volume one. And then this is volume two. Uh, I don't know why I have this Batman Beyond Rebirth book, but I have it. Then we have, uh, what is this? Seven volumes of the ongoing Spider-Man 2099 run. All right, so here was volume one, Out of Time. Volume two is Spider-Verse, which ties into that Spider-Verse OHC. Smack, the, smack to the Future. Gods and Women. Yo, know, the artwork on these covers was incredible, though. Civil War II tie-in. Yo, those events ruin the ongoings, right? Every time. Apocalypse soon. That's when he gets the new Spidey uh, 2099 costume. Back to the Future shock. It has Spidey 2099. Then I have the four volumes of the Ben Riley. Scar the Spider, which actually I still haven't read any of these, man. I keep telling myself to read them. I need to look in to find out if that run is uh, over yet. Got the Spider-Man 2 trade paperback. And then these two animated series trades, which I've shown recently in my hauls, which are uh, smaller than regular trades. Just got my two box sets here. And then a big pile of trade paperbacks here i think a lot of these were giveaways from like uh sean Leahy that we still haven't given away yet so like yeah this spider woman origin was one of those so was this book same with spider-man rain 
Same with Spider-Man India. Uh, okay, this is Umbrella Academy Volume 1. Buzzkill by Donnie Case that we picked up from him at um, El Paso Comic Con along with these three volumes of Redneck that, um, that he signed for us. Just the three volumes here. Then we got these three Mortal Kombat X. You know, I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. So I actually like the comics for these. Got the three Mortal Kombat trades. All right, what else we got here? Omega Man by Tom King, which everybody ranted and raved about it. I read one issue and I couldn't get into it, just like Miracle Man. I need to give it another shot, though. It's supposed to be really good. Weapons of Mass of Mutant Destruction. This was like the uh, prequel to like the the Hulk Arenes or whatever. <laughs> Medieval Spawn and Witchblade crossover. Bone Parish by Colin Bunn from Image, which I did not like. Uh, I got the two volumes of Gideon Falls from Image that I loved by Jeff Lemire. As a video game head, I picked up this Killer Instinct trade, which, I don't know, it didn't really look like the game. And Oblivion Song Volume 1. I, I think I still haven't read Oblivion Song. All right, let's take a look at the, at the rest. These Flintstone trades were, like, really praised by the uh, Omnibus Collectors Group, but I couldn't really get into them. What do we got here? Spirits of Vengeance, which I thought was the 90s run, and it's not. Venom Inc. That was also tying in with the return of Eddie Brock. I actually did a review on this one. I did a review on the Punisher War Machine trade. This is the uh, Carnage and Hobgoblin Axis trade paperback crossover. Then we have an old school Venom Dark Origin run. Collects the five issues of that run. Look, it even has a sticker. I got this on Amazon. I bought this Infinity War prelude trade because there was like rumors that it was going to have the title of Endgame before that came out. You remember when that was a thing? You know, but it didn't. The Tom King Vision Run, which everybody really loves. I still haven't read. I have it in the trades. They ended up coming out with an oversized hardcover. I did buy the Batman Rebirth trade to see if I wanted to get into Rebirth. And I didn't really like it, man, with that whole Gotham and Gotham Girl stuff and... Yeah, that's them right there. I just couldn't get into it. This NYX trade came with the oversized hardcover when I bought it off eBay. That's the only reason why I have this. Never read it. Venom First Host. I did a review on it. I don't think I released it yet. Same with the Donny Cates Venom trade volume two. I don't think I released those. I have them on deck. This Ultimate Collection Ghost Rider book uh, came with my Ghost Rider by Jason Aaron Omnibus that I bought off eBay. Kind of just like the NYX thing. I just kind of came with it. Like he had it as a lot or whatever. Ben Riley Scarlet Spider 5. I guess I didn't have Volume 5 when I was looking through those other ones. <laughs> I forgot I even had this Spider Geddon. Look how many Spider Men they make. Come on, man. It's getting ridiculous. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, Deathstroke the Terminator Volume 5. I guess I need to go ahead and put that with these. I didn't realize there was a fifth one. See, I've been having stuff. I don't even know, man. All right, Umbrella Academy Volume 2. I think Volume 3 got pushed back. It was supposed to come out in August, but it is not. What's the, what you know about that? Dino Saucers. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I need to read this, man. Let me put this on the top of my read pile. Uh, Gwenpool, the three trades, our boy Adar sent this to us. He swears I'm going to like it. Does he even know me? I don't know. Here we go. So, then we have Venom by Rick Remender, the uh, Complete Collection Volume 1 and Volume 2. Like, if you look at the back, it goes up to issue 22. And then, like I said, the uh, Colin Bunn picks up where that run leaves off, and that's how you collect the entire run for Agent Venom. Thanks for making the spines different, y'all.
Uh, then we have these are these are pretty cool. The uh, complete uh, Alien Symbiote Saga trade paperbacks. This is volume two and volume one. They don't have those collected in Omnibus, so I picked it up there. And then last on this video is my Spider-Man 2099 trade paperback collection, which is not completed. I think it needs one or two more volumes, maybe just one to complete that. I really like having this collected in trades because there is not an omnibus for it. You could custom buy, uh, bind this into an omnibus, but again, it wouldn't be oversized. Uh, I really hope they make an official omnibus for Spider-Man 2099. That's like one of my favorite 90s runs. All right, y'all, I think that is it for my oversized hardcover and trade paperback collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop me a comment below. What's your favorite book out of the uh, collection that you didn't know that I had, man, out of all these trades now that I got, I got to put them away and everything? You guys make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content. We do collection updates like this as well. Stay minty fresh. Peace.